My dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today being the weekend of September 2nd and 3rd, 2023. So um, September 2 and 3 for everyone, for the whole collective. Let us begin. Happy birthday to those of you celebrating this weekend. Happy glorious birthday for the 2nd and 3rd of September. And happy anniversaries for those, those of you celebrating anniversaries. Uh, best wishes to all of you, each and every one of you, and a lot of blessings to all of you. Let us begin to see what is the most important message for us today. And we have listen. Hmm, I haven't seen this one before. Let me have a look. Listen. So it's almost saying shh and listen. Okay. Quiet your mind. Beloved one, quiet your mind and listen to our gentle reassurances that everything has been taken care of. Everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. Quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. Listen. This is amazing. Well, let's have a look. This is incredible. So direct and to the point. Let's see the sacred forest. And wow. Wow. Mm. Again, we have stillness. That means quietude. Quietness. Healing is going to take place quiet um, being silent and being in the quiet that's amazing and we have empowerment and this is also about the chinese year of the dragon which is coming next year 2024 there's going to be empowerment there's going to be a lot of power given to the collective um, so they can heal so they can move forward so they can be energized so that is also very different this time. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at... Um, wow, the Golden Heart. That's an amazing card. We had this um, a few days ago, I think. Let's see what else. Okay, and we have the Golden Rings and the Golden Cup. But I'll just take two. I'll take the Golden Rings for now. And we'll take it from here. So the love, the golden love, is all about um, doing what you love more than anything. It is about emotional spending. It's about great news about love, joint fina finances, being supported, and um, counseling, heart matters, opening the heart chakra, having a beautiful job that you truly love. And it is to do with absolute love, falling in love. Now, how amazing. We have the golden rings. This is all about connections um, elevated to, to deeper levels. This is about commitments, long-term relationships, and long-term investments, financial investments, um, long-term investments, partnerships, working together in a team, fulfilling career for those of you who are looking for careers. But putting both of these together, um, I feel and the empowerment of the dragon. I feel like something big is going to happen in your love life by early next year, 2020. What's the number here? We've got 11. So we've got 11. Could be 11 months from now in the year of the dragon. Something big about your love life, your, your proposals, marriage, planning for future, commitments, agreements, even business partnerships. But something you will love you'll be doing starting from now all the way to till November next year. So that's very intriguing. Okay, let's see further. What else? What else do we need to know? Okay, let's have a look at four major impacts that will impact us all for this weekend of September 2nd and 3rd. And we have the Hierophant, commitments, again, committing to doing something big, commitments to agreements and contracts, signing uh, documents, buying property, um, getting married, proposing and planning marriage, um, starting something fresh, studying education, um, wisdom, elevating yourself to the higher level, taking care of your health, moving to spiritual grounds, higher grounds. So a lot of commitments and following the rules and abiding by the rules. That's another one. Okay, so we've got that one there. 
And then we have justice. How beautiful. Two major arcana. This is really big. Justice in your favor. All matters will conclude in your favor. They will all be concluded justly. Fair and fairness and truth and honor is going to be served. So that is beautiful. And it could be connected to someone that is Libra. Libra here. Yeah. Then we have the Ten of Swords. A karmic situation ends. Something comes to an absolute ending. It was time for it to end. It is coming to an absolute ending. A chapter of your life is leaving, is going. Mm, very interesting. A new beginning begins, one that's going to give you a lot of understanding and a lot of clarity, mental clarity to the highest level, understanding the aha moment, um, epiphanies, and a great victory awaits you. The truth also here, the truth very strong with both of these cards. What you don't see happening and coming is that there is something catastrophically will come to an end. Yes, you might be mourning uh, the loss of this situation but you are destined for a lot of you will be empowered by the magician and you will be um, you will be uh, rewarded big times there's a lot of success a lot of uh, victory there's a lot of applause for a job well done this must be in something really karmic that you're doing it is falling apart you were relying on it but it was it had no more foundation and no more to go you will be regretting this there is regret without a doubt but it was um, a chapter of your life that was destined to end. There will be a lot of rewards and a great victory. Great victory um, shown everywhere here. So that is amazing. Okay, let's have a look and see what else you need to know for this weekend. Wow, this is a very intense reading. That's not very nice. <laughs> let's have a look at next. Okay, so this one looks very... Um, Okay, let's let me just have a look. There's something getting sabotaged here. Oh, I see the Five of Swords. Okay, the Five of Swords shows conflict in a situation where you are defeated. There is nothing more in your hands that you can do. This is a situation coming to an absolute end. So this is about the Ten of Swords that we're talking about. Yes, there will be uh, sadness and grieving the loss of a situation, but it's coming to an end. There's nothing that can happen. There's a lot of issues and there's nothing left in your hands you can do. This is something that was destined to come to an absolute ending. So that's that one. And um, let's have a look at this one here where it says toxicity, addictions, the devil. The devil is all about extraordinary addictions, things that you might be doing too much of. No matter what it is, it's just a little bit too much. You need to heal from it. And if you're dealing with people that are taking your energy or causing you some sort of control or wanting to control you or, or um, you know, putting you um, at a very restrictive uh, situation, you need to release yourself from this. It could be a, a relationship that's toxic. And maybe that's why things are coming to an end and absolutely ending. So um, that's that one also. Okay, now... What we're going to do is find out. Can you see these cards? I'll just wonder at the end there. Yes, okay, you can see them a little bit. Here we go. Uh, what we're going to do now is find out further what else you need to know, what we all need to know, and then I will do the rest. Let's see. Okay, we've got the Grim Reaper, which is the death card. Something is ultimately ending. And then Cupid steps in the arena of our life. So we've got endings. You know how they said endings and beginnings with the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. And now we've got endings. Um, a relationship is over. There's no second chances. Uh, you're growing and transforming from this. This is an ending. And then we've got Cupid. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Um, there will be a surprise. There may be a, an invitation or a meeting that you're hesitant to go to. Don't be hesitant, go because you might meet someone and just when you least expect, Cupid is going to strike. Okay, so let's have a look at the what else you need to know. Two more messages here. The second and third. Okay, so it says stay optimistic about your love life, the love life that you're getting uh, next after this. And you'll find things are getting much better for you. Let's have a look. Okay, stay optimistic, it says. Just put my glasses on. 
stay optimistic um, about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So don't lose faith. For those of you who are just left a situation it says here getting to know each other you're getting to know someone and the more you reveal your innermost self to each other your bond is becoming deeper and deeper it really deepens so that's really wonderful and the message here is a message for you and here it is this is from your soulmate i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you someone is going to declare this to you or your soulmate is about to enter your life there is someone a message of love i'm thinking of you and this very moment your love fills me with light i love you someone might declare this declaration for you prepare for it we've got the love here We've got the golden rings. Everything shows that there was something magnificent about to take place. So, And it shows that your love is getting deeper and deeper the more you're getting to know each other. So everything is possible. My dear viewers, everything is possible. With the golden love and the two golden rings, promises, marriage, commitment, getting to know each other. And of course, don't forget, we've got the Hierophant, which is the greatest commitment of all. And we've got the two golden rings and golden love. So there could be a proposal. There could be someone declaring their love and showing, the, uh, showing you that they love you by proposing. That is a very strong uh, possibility here today. So, okay, now let's move further. I'll just put this further into the next level which is okay i'll do the questions now now my dear viewers here we go let's have a look at the questions we're going to have up to four answers so you can have up to four questions and get four answers for them starting you can put me on pause and when you're ready unpause me to get the answers so we have answer number one for the weekend of second and third for everybody answer number one Answer number two. Answer number three. Answer number four. Hmm. Okay, that's there, the answers there for you. So my dear viewers, can you see them? Yes, one, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna do the add-ons. And I've already shuffled, so here we go. Answer number one, a clue. Answer number two, a clue. Answer number three, a clue. Answer number four, a clue. Here we go. Okay. Let's have a look at the answers. If you're not ready, you can put me on hold until you are ready, then... Uh, you can have a look at answer number one. It says, don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. And it says a bouquet, which is all about someone wonderful. It says compliments from an admirer. Remember, there is someone that really um, wishes to tell you what they feel about you. So there are compliments and maybe more with a bouquet. Could be gift also from an admirer. Don't stop. Keep going. That is the message, number one. Answer. Answer number two. It says, a year from now. A year from now. And it says, a woman. It says, dealings or relationship with a woman. Feminine energy, woman. Okay. Number three. It says, ask your angels. And you are asking, this is a deck of angels. Ask your angels. And the clue is October. Wow, that is not too far. October. Beautiful in the fall. Now, number four, answer number four. And we've got if you believe. If you believe. And we have September. Wow. September. Uh, this is amazing. And this month. This is incredible. Wow. You don't have to wait long. Okay. So that was number one. And two and three and four 
Okay, now my dear viewers, I'm going to start clarifying the cards. Starting with the Hierophant, let's have a look at this commitment, this advancement, this agreement, this um, wisdom, and abiding by everything. What is it all about for the collective? Wow. It's about um, relationships, partnerships, decision making about partnerships could be love partnerships or otherwise decision making that means finally making decisions perhaps to get married or to propose possibility because we have the love don't forget when we have the gold uh, the golden rings and not only we have that but we've also got um, the commitment we're talking about commitment so we've got the lovers the golden love and the golden rings all together so something is calling for you to make some decision, perhaps. The sun is going to be shining on your relationships and giving you abundance of glory, happiness, and a lot of success, a lot of radiance, and a lot of healing. In relationships, a lot of healing. And uh, advancement, moving to the leveling up to the best level, a lot of, um, um, what's the word, unions that are beautiful loving relationships that is amazing okay my dear viewers that is incredible so this was all in regard to the commitment we were talking about there is a sacrifice that you will need to make however some of you and leaving a situation behind that's no longer working the where there is problems you're going you're leaving it behind let's have a look at the justice card and see what so there is relocation and movement uh, now justice to see what the justice is all about for the collective and we have you need to act very quickly something wonderful is about to take place you're about to you need to take action very quickly to resolve a problem and to take advantage of an opportunity one of your wishes is going to be granted with the star uh, and it's going to bring you abundance of happiness when this wish is granted wishes granted how beautiful justice in your favor what you don't see happening is abundance is coming and you are empowered big time the magician shows a lot of power coming your way and there could be money coming in to the point where you will have extraordinary financial freedom this is amazing now let's have a look at the ten of swords and see what the ten of swords is all about ten of swords for everybody there is an ending and in some cases now this can be a passing somebody could be passing leaving our world resting in peace um why i say that it's because we have the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is unexpected large amounts of money and sometimes they can be inheritance somebody could be passing and you are the executor of their will there could be something big like that but abundance is coming after this ending right we asked about the ten of swords they're showing a lot of money is coming in and this money is um life-changing money it's going to give you a grand rise in your wealth as you can see this is like all wealth maybe this is what this is all about like keep sh like you know listen something big is happening something major could be happening and it could be possibly an inheritance something really big we've also got the grim reaper which is the card of death and we've got the ten of swords when they unite in a reading with this one it it is possible that somebody is passing and there is a big inheritance that you will be the executor of there could be some issues jealousies opponents but ultimately your money is rising and you are going beyond where you are a lot of money to deal with so prepare for that and the issue that kind of listen is is to do with quietude and, and money when it comes it is to do with being quiet somebody is resting in peace you are going to be able to take time out and heal this could be in connection to air energies or fire oh wow or fire air or fire which are aquarius gemini libra sagittarius leo aries mm, interesting very interesting okay again there's the relocation i keep seeing that for those of you who are leaving I see relocation. I saw this second time. That's why I'm showing it. Relocation. Now let's go to the Ace of Swords and see what is this new beginning that's going to bring you a great victory. The truth for everybody. You are going to be uniting together. 
with some people working together, working incredibly for an amazing cause. This cause is going to be very profitable and there is abundance. There is teamwork, there's abundance, there's a lot, something glorious you are going to be doing with someone, united with others, teamwork. Teamwork is going to do great. Could be families also involved doing something together in a business or, or some, something else, building something. There could be also a journey, uh, family uniting, going on a journey, friends uniting, going on a journey. The, but overall, you're overcoming something that was difficult. You are passing that and you are having a great victory. Don't forget both of these cards are cards of victory. Great triumph over obstacles, truth releasing you, and two great victories. And that's what I asked about. So there's a lot of victory and there's abundance coming. The Three of Pentacles is something that pays off big time glorious. Freedom, strength, and leaving the past behind you. A past that was very complicated. You're leaving it behind you. And you are set, setting yourself free from something from the past completely and utterly and um you are empowered to overcome any obstacle and here this is very strong power given to you now my dear viewers let's have a look what the chinese cookies want to tell us today this weekend september 2nd and 3rd for the collective oh beautiful thank you okay so we have two cards the first one says opportunities an important offer an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. Be prepared and dress to impress. The second one, is, the second one says love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems. But take heart. That means don't give up hope. Have hope. As difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Some decision that you're making this week is going to help you and support you. And don't forget you had the wish here and the support of the angels all with you. Nothing can go wrong. Not to mention the love, the commitments that are destined and your wishes coming true. Everything will be okay. Whatever decision you make is going to support you and help you move forward. So you are... Uh, and the sun is also there actually to shine on you and to give you everything you need there is so much um so much blessings that everything will go well you don't have to worry and the magician's power the sun all of it looks amazing i hope you enjoyed this reading my dear viewers i wish you abundance of blessings and happy birthdays again happy anniversaries again don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it takes a click only from your time it's absolutely free and it does support me big time with youtube um other than that i wish you abundance of joy and happiness don't forget to watch your money reading um, especially because we've got this money coming and don't forget to watch your general reading to understand who uh, the people that are coming in your life, this air energy, who they are, air energy and fire, who they are. It tells you in your general uh, reading, especially under your sign, it makes it more personal. You understand what's going on. I wish you a lot of blessings and a lot of love and light. Namaste.